命も脅かされてるような生活も脅かされてるようなあの感じをすごく強く受けていますので。The Japanese woke up Friday to find that North Korea had fired a missile over the country's northern island of Hokkaido for the second time in a month. Sirens went off to alert people soon after the launch was detected. The missile landed in the Pacific Ocean after flying about 2,300 miles. Another missile launched in late August took a similar path, traveling about 1,700 miles. No injuries or damage were reported Friday. Pyongyang has continued to launch missiles despite growing international pressure and new UN sanctions against the country. Just this month, it conducted its sixth and most powerful nuclear test to date. The North Korea understands now that they could launch a major missile provocation in the direction of Japan, which would actually keep the level of tension high, but without escalating too much or cross the red line that could、uh, invite a massive retaliation by the United States. South Korea's military responded by launching its own missile into the sea in a simulated strike of an air base near Pyongyang, the North Korean launch site. Some world leaders are calling for harsher sanctions. This is another example. Of why it's vitally important to continue to tighten those economic sanctions on North Korea. On Thursday, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said he hoped China would help to get North Korea to the negotiating table. I am hopeful that China will take it upon themselves to use that very powerful tool of oil supply to persuade North Korea. The U.S. Pacific Command said the latest launch was of an intermediate-range ballistic missile. That pose no threat to the U.S. mainland or Guam.